Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ladies, gentlemen, gamers, and fellow Overwatch lovers and haters, welcome back to another Overwatch reaction. It is about 4 a.m., the perfect time to do these reactions because I procrastinated it all day. But as always, better late than never. Either way, we are getting to yet another collaboration with Overwatch. I feel like it was just yesterday that we had the, um, oh god, what was the last one? I don't want to say it was Lee Seraphim, but I might say it was Lee Seraphim, and I honestly don't remember. And that goes to show you where my current head is at with Overwatch 2. I said this in my Battle Pass reaction video, that, um, in general, Overwatch 2 is getting a little bit boring to me. Even though the game is constantly making improvements, sometimes they're not really improvements, they're bringing something old back that the game had and putting a new coat of paint on it that isn't even a new coat of paint. So a lot of the times they just bring stuff that's old and they don't even make it better. Sometimes it's neutral or worse. And I've played Overwatch for quite a while. I've literally been playing Overwatch since day one of its release. So, you know, I've been around the block for a while. I think that was when I was in high school, no less. Jesus Lord, it's been a while. But either way, you can only play something for so long if you don't absolutely love it, and that's kind of where I'm at with Overwatch. And the biggest contributing factor to this is not only their monetary practices, not only how they handle the game, how Overwatch 2 really has nothing for what validates it being number 2, but you know, these are all things that everyone's talked about like crazy. But for me, it's just the fact that even though the weeklies are way, way better, and this season in particular, they're extremely better because they can stack. You, you're not locked into doing them one week. You could miss all the weeks. Now, granted, you're still going to have to play a shit ton, but you don't have to do it within that one week. You could space it out more, or you could just do it all the way at the end, like a true procrastinator would. Now, even though it's better in all these ways, I still am really getting pushed out of Overwatch for one plain reason. One of the weeklies is Phil. Whenever it's Phil, it means tank, and I hate playing tank, and I want to play DPS, or even maybe healer, let's be real. I just don't want to play tank anymore, because tank fucking feels like shit, and I'm literally forced to play tank to be efficient with the battle pass, so it really feels like shit. But either way, this game, as much as I hate it, as much as I'm being pushed away for it from it, that doesn't mean we can't do reactions. And it also doesn't mean that I might not go back to it occasionally, especially when the new hero comes out. But either way... I'm getting slowly pushed away, which is good, and that doesn't mean they're not going to milk it for money. So the newest collaboration, which is completely surprising to me, but not too surprising, is Transformers. Now, the biggest thing when it comes to collaborations that I remember is the Cowboy Bebop. Now, that one kind of landed in a mixed bag. Some of the skins were good, some of the skins were bad, at least depending on who you ask. But general consensus that I saw from everyone was mixed bag. Curious to see what the Transformers one's going to be like. Again, I always attribute this back to Fortnite. I always think this goes back to Fortnite because Fortnite set the groundwork for being the collab game. It's not a question of, of if, it's a question of when is it coming to Fortnite. And I don't think we're going to get that same level in Overwatch 2. But we're, we're kind of getting to a decent level where it's like, wow, these things are coming out relatively decently. And this is where Smite does it like crazy. Other games do this as crazy. And Overwatch is kind of getting with the program. Now, in other ways, I wish they would get with the program of putting more currency in the Battle Pass so you could get it back at the very least, but they don't want to do that. But either way, it's, again, I always say this, it's way better than it was before, but it's not how good it should have been at the start. But either way, I've blabbed long enough. Let's see how this collab looks. So I actually don't have too much history with Transformers. I obviously used to watch it as a kid since I am a 2000s baby even though I was born before then. So I do know about Transformers. I never really got into it, and I didn't know there was as much lore for it as there is. There's the movie universe, there's the comics or whatever, there's the cartoon, and there's a lot more lore to Transformers than I initially thought. So that has no relevance here, just trying to describe my personal uh, stake in Transformers, which is not much, but I really hope they don't do it badly. So without further ado, let's take a look. My intro is gonna be longer than the fucking video. Okay, Blizzard Entertainment. Oh, oh, they actually animated this. Oh my god, it's Bumblebee Bastion. Bro, these are gonna look sus. Who's that, Alari? I think that's Alari. Oh my god, who's Optimus? Ryan? It had to be Ryan. 
I wonder if he's gonna transform into the truck when he charges. There's no way they do that. Is that Zen? That is old. Wait, why is Zen evil? Who is Zen? Starscream? There's no way. See, they're making this look so cool. I really hope this looks like- Wait, that's Ramatra! That was Ramatra, that's not Zen! Makes a lot more sense. Bro, this looks so cool. Oh my god. Oh my god, Optimus never had a hammer. Yo, was there some impact from this song? Oh my god, they even have the transforming sound. Oh, what the fuck? You know I'm gonna say that's a JoJo's reference right there. Oh, that's hot. Man, it's so fucking sad. This actually looks crazy good, but like, obviously I don't have the end games to go off of. This is obviously an animated trailer, which, you know, as much as I shit on Overwatch, they do do something, hey, do -do. they do some things decently well, and the trailers sometimes are really it. Like, this was really fucking good. Now, the main thing I'm concerned about is how are they actually going to look? If they have as much bells as wh and whistles as they did here, like, when Ramatra transforms into his muscle form, if he has, like, the Transformers noise, and then it looks as cool as here, relativistically speaking, that is gonna be epic. But I guess there's no way to know that. Let's see if there's any links here we could do. Okay, no, let me, let me search it up. Transformers X Overwatch. Let's see if we have images for these things. I don't know if we have in-game. Why <laughs> they said it could be for Soldier. Yeah, so I guess we don't have in-games just yet. That's fine. Um, but either way, the trailer alone was cool as shit. Like, I really, really hope they do transform as well. And this is kind of the sad part where now that Overwatch is doing collabs as well, because it's free to play, I think unless they really nuke the game in terms of, like, hardcore balance or just make it so anti-fun, I guess with still balance, because it doesn't matter how obtrusive the cash shop is, how shitty the battle pass is. If you're free to play and you actually have collabs, I feel like this game is going to survive, I would say, nearly indefinitely. Because it's Overwatch, it's Blizzard, it's well known enough, it casts a wide enough net, and the collabs are decent. The game is good enough to where it won't die, but not good enough to where people like me, who actually cared about the game for a while, are really going to enjoy it again the way we did. So it's a really sad thing to see, but... It is what it is. But focusing just on the um, collab here, really fucking good. I I'm really, really scared to say this because I really think the, uh, the skins in-game might look like shit as some of the Cowboy Bebop ones were. But, you know, we'll be hopeful and we'll wait and see. Either way, I hope everyone enjoyed and I hope you all watch me at twitch.tv slash technic channel. Eee! -e -e.